thanks to Myrtle Bent for uh, including me uh, in this interesting show, and also for choosing two different bodies of work of mine. And I guess the first thing I'd like to say is I'm somebody who works in, I don't know, four or five, depending on how many you count, different bodies of work that really don't uh, easily uh, conform to, a, to an obvious signature approach. And uh, so I'll talk about these perhaps first and, and really just simply say that they're essentially collage, they're additive in the sense that I don't, I don't have a schematic or an idea in mind when I begin. I just essentially begin with some mark making and then just sort of uh, in, in the way that uh, a jazz musician might respond to a particular rhythm that's getting put out there or someone else's solo. I'm just kind of moving and I, Perhaps again, like Fred, I'm, and, and most artists, I suspect, although not all, I'm, I'm working on many, perhaps in my case, too many services at the same time. My wife can speak to that problem. But um, uh, so things are kind of halfway to nowhere and, and just building, and I'm picking things up and working on them for, for a stretch and then, uh, and then on, to, on to the next. So these are essentially collages, and I, that's fairly new idiom for me, but um, maybe if I go to this and then come back to this, I can say that uh, five or so years ago, five or six years ago, Jill and I uh, spent a year in Hong Kong, really on uh, uh, her, her uh, project, which was getting a master's degree uh, over there in combination with NYU and Hong Kong University. Um, and. Hong Kong is kind of prohibitively expensive, so there really was no question about having a studio there, much as one would perhaps like to have had that opportunity. But I, I took some courses, and, and one of the courses I took was um, uh, Chinese landscape painting, traditional Chinese landscape painting. And I'd always been interested and influenced by both uh, Chinese and Japanese, Asian art in general, and scroll work in particular, and landscape work. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was influential to work with a, 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 a local master who was very generous with my clumsy Western ways. But, uh, um, and then I took a, a sill screening class there that was not that good, unfortunately, but it, it, it triggered something. So when we got back to New York a year later, I took a number of courses for the better part of a year at SVA, sill screening. And, and that had more of an impact on me uh, than I, could realize at the time. And so just speaking about, about these, th this central form, which is the same in both of these images, is, to, is essentially just a screened, uh, a silk screen print on paper. And uh, the, the, the form has been generated in the computer. I, I do generate a fair amount in the computer that then gets printed out and ends up in, in paintings. And then it's just uh, essentially uh, uh, Indian ink on top of that. And, um, and, and that, that is pretty much that. Um, but there are aspects of that same um, screen printing that, I've, that, that, that has ended up in these collages. For instance, uh, these, these forms here, or this, or that, are essentially taken from a screen print on rice paper that I've cut up, obviously, and, and uh, uh, thrown into this. And I kind of like a, a, a kind of a jagged, dissonant, somewhat antique combination of different elements in the same painting. I'm, I'm, I'm very influenced by various, especially very contemporary jazz, which plays to a very small audience even here in New York, believe it or not. Uh, but a very um, uh, jagged kind of, of work that, that provides its own energy. And I, that's usually playing fairly loud in my studio and provides me with a certain kind of energy. That, as much as anything, is driving my, my practice, which is uh, uh, which is what you're looking at. Mm -hmm. So, would you say that the collage mentality you talked about there exists throughout your work? No, not necessarily. I, I mean, these are not collages. This well, is, I meant the concept that the you're concept. adding. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you could say that. It's still something that I'm coming to terms with. I feel like this is a, a really rather big shift in my work going on that I'm not really even fully consciously aware of. 
and I, I, I don't like to pause, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, <coughs> But yes, I mean, I, I, I'm really just in the last year coming to terms with the fact I had a, I had a show of some uh, monoprints. I, I, it's another vein that I'm working in, working with a master printer, I should add. Um, and it, it, it is in working with this person over the over a number of years that I've really kind of realized that printmaking really affected me, and and uh, it's something that I'd like to to, to get back into. I, I, I don't. I only did this, the, the, the screen printing at SVA for one year, the better part of a year, three or four years ago. But, um, but that aspect of work and in combination with the much more collage-oriented approach to image making, to painting, has, has really uh, changed my thinking. I'm not sure I've really come to terms with it yet. I'm not sure I really need to come to terms with it to, so much to just keep doing it. And that jagged sense, was that always with you as well? Um, no, well, I, so I, I think some people would say so. I'm not sure I would. Um, uh, I, I sort of evolved from, you know, at the turn of uh, the, the uh, turn of the century, there was a lot of talk in architecture about uh, bulbous forms and Greg Lynn and people like that. And, Kind of, so that that kind of shape making affected me, sort of an expansion. I should add that it, it, it matters at all. But like Fred, I share a, a deep interest in, in uh, physics. A little bit I can understand, as you point out, because I do not understand, nor do I speak the language of physics, which is mathematics. As I'm sure knows. But my father was a, was a nuclear physicist before becoming an environmentalist, interestingly. But, but so I, I kind of grew up with that interest. But I think so. There's the element of the schematic in my work and, and the diagrammatic, and, and I'll, yeah. I'll stand behind that, uh, I guess. But thanks for your interest. Thank you. Yeah. 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 I was going to ask a quick question. Was it about space and what you have on the surface in space? The grid that I see here, there are grids, right? Yeah. There are grids here, and there are also a faint grid in yours, watercolor and, and back here, right? And so there's a sort of a lateral tension, right? And then when it projects in the sheets. And I think that must add to sort of the collage medium that you're thinking through. Well, <clears throat> thanks for noticing that. I appreciate it. The, 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 the grid you see here really is just the vagaries of a wide Japanese or Chinese style brush that has been used to, to, to lay down um, water. The grid you see here is, is uh, uh, from rice paper that I bought in Hong Kong and, and that uh, children would use to uh, basically to put calligraphic forms into. So for you and me, it would be A, B, C, practicing calligraphy. So uh, it isn't the most uh, precious or rarefied form of, of rice paper, to be perfectly honest, but I bought it in by the box full. And, uh, and, uh, you know, the grid is something that, that, that harkens back to, to mid-century uh, modernist work, especially here in New York, and, and minimalism and serial approaches and stuff like that. And, and I, I confess to a certain weakness for, or appreciation of, of that element. But it's not something that I want to uh, have it as an overriding feature of the work. It's, it's something that kind of surfaces and disappears, perhaps. Yeah. Thank you. And the intimate size is that consistent in your work? No, well, no, not necessarily. I mean, I, I do do larger work, not huge, huge, but, um, uh, you know, it, it, I have to be able to handle it. Yes. Um, but but uh, I've, I've always, and Fred says he's done watercolors now, I've always appreciated watercolor also as another body of work that, that I, really value for its intimacy, and I always sort of think of it as being sort of within a, a hug. And so, so that anything between the shoulders and the elbows and the fingers is, has a certain kind of intimacy to it. And um, so I like that in this work too, that, and, and how much can I jam into a small painting and still retain a, an aspect of space and, and, and interest. Um, there, so, 
I like this size. I, I, I like them. I have maybe trouble with in between sizes. Um, I might say. 